Chewies, it's Lena here and surprised I'm alive and we are picking up on our year and a day journey from where I left off like two years ago. So it is now day 41 in the year and a day exercises and today's exercise is meeting the God as the provider. This is the second aspect of the God and corresponds with the second aspect of the goddess, which would be mother. So some positive aspects of the provider is maturity, zenith of power, self-sufficiency, a care for self and others, um, a focused, attentive mind, and being active and purposeful. It's pretty much vital energy and a focused mind. Uh, some negative qualities are blind ambition, self-sufficiency to the point of self-serving, so very selfishness, anger and impatience, uh, along with an inflexibility towards social rules and norms. Now, some providers are Sol, Cernunos, Harney, Ra, Zeus, Diaius, Diaius, I don't know how to say that to be honest, Yahweh, Apollo, Aries, El, Helios, Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, Nereus, Oak King, Nick, Odin, Saturn, Sin, Thor, Thaw, and Moten. The sun phase is the full midday sun. The season is summer. The color is red. The pagan celebration is summer solstice. The direction is south. The time of day is noon. The incense is frankincense. The oils frankincense, chamomile, benzoin, and patchouli. The magical number is five. The vocalization is E, as in feet. Uh, the herbs are chamomile and hemp. The planet are Mercury and Sun, the body parts are the neck and the throat, and the corresponding chakra is the fifth chakra, known as the throat chakra, which is at the base of the throat, right where the buckle dips. Um, the exercise was to find the positive and the negative qualities within you. Um, my positive quality would have to be the care for others. Um, which is just kind of what goes with being a mom. And then my negative one would be impatience because I want to do stuff now. I need you to, to do it for me and it needs to be done a certain way. But um, I think I'm pretty much balanced. I'm, I am not very much into tight rules or tight anything. and. I do know that there are limits that need to be met and that sometimes those limits can be stretched a bit. Um, and I also know that people have shortcomings and they'll fall and fail to reach those limits so it really doesn't matter to me as long as it gets done. Now I have um, lingering daddy issues. I had an abusive stepfather and a negligent biological father and so be, because of this I have a really difficult time relating to a father God. It has taken many years of practice and therapy to let a lot of my grudges and a lot of those issues subside and to just let things go so I can grow both mentally and spiritually. So while I still falter in a connection with a male divinity, it's not completely lost to me. It's just that in real life, I'm closer to my mom than I am my dad. So in my spiritual life, I tend to be closer to female divinity than male divinity. But I do understand that it needs both to balance I've just found that in life that there's always that extra bit of something that is always added, even with 
prominently female, it can still have male aspects. So it's not lost to me. It's just a little bit harder to relate to, if that makes any sense. Well, that's it for now. And I hope you guys can take this exercise and do it yourselves and reply in the comments. And there's plenty of everything in the description box. So just uh, get to me and I'll get back at you. You guys have a great day and brightest blessings.